another look at what went on from the start there. Again, didn't see a huge amount wrong with that. The riders charging down to the first turn. France was the unlucky one there off gate two. But the riders are going to have another opportunity as we go tapes up for a second time on heat 14. Across the starting grid for this one then, as a reminder, it's Mathieu Trezaria off the inside, Josef France off gate two. It's Yannick de Jong uh, in the green helmet colour off the very outside start position. And your focus will be on the riders in white, Cameron Woodward, and yellow, Jonas Kilmakorpi. Both undefeated so far, but it's one of the strongest races of the day so far. Could very easily have been a lineup for a grand final. Still might be, in fact, depending on what goes on in the remaining races here today. The starting marshal bringing them into line then. Trezaria, the fast starter, first time out. Will he be the same again as we go takes up now on the rerun? Woodward with a decent trap. France has made a more competitive one this time. Kilmer Corby gets a smooth run to the first turn. And Woodward was trapped on the inside behind Trezaria. And Kilmer Corby, the number one, is going to make a dash for it on the exit of the second bend. Pulls alongside the Frenchman and picks up the lead. It's Kilmer Corby in front. Woodward stuck in the traffic. He's up the inside of Yannick de Jong, who tried the outside coming out of the second bend. Now switches it back down to the curb. The Australian has enough momentum out of the fourth bend to cover it off by cutting back across the front of him. Meanwhile, swarming inside and out. And trying to find some ground is Josef Franz but he's stuck in fifth position and this is going to be exactly the type of swing that I suggested Jonas Kilmakorpi would be looking for the tussle now is over second place with Woodward trying up the inside of Trezaria he had that position earlier on and then Trezaria managed to clamp across the front of him into the first bend but here comes Woodward up the inside this should be enough to seal the deal what an excellent day it's been for Cameron Woodward so far and his major point scoring is going to continue he's not going to be get the better of Jonas Kilmakorpi but it looks like he's going to be able to beat Mathieu Trezaria in the tussle for second place. Trezaria now down in third, looking back up the inside into the top turn, but Woodward being pretty conservative into turn three again on the inside line that allows the number 19 to get a good run off the top turn and they draw almost level coming over the line Kilmer Gorby from Woodward and Trezaria into the final lap Woodward again covering it off Trezaria is going to go deep on turns one and two let's see what he can do here as he winds it on out of the second bed didn't quite have the momentum there Woodward's closed it down down the back straight Trezaria now thinks about the inside but again the Australian has it covered and Trezaria's machine has let go the number 19 in a major point scoring position and keeping himself in the hunt for the semi-finals has surely binned any chances of moving through as his machine lets go on the final turns. Oh, oh extreme drama for Mathieu Trezaria.